In this video, we'd like to address some fundamental issues about how current flows in a circuit. So what we have here is a relatively simple circuit built here out of a couple of resistors, and we have some extra wires because we're going to make some measurements on it. So if you look carefully what I have here, I have the 9-volt um, battery, the red wire sort of going to this side of the breadboard here, and I have it immediately going through a piece of white jumper wire, which does nothing more than just sort of rouse the current into the input of one resistor. This is a 100 ohm resistor, so I see a brown, black, brown on there. Then the output of that resistor is sort of sent through another jumper wire here, a couple columns over to the input of another resistor, which is a red, 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 so a 2,200 ohm resistor sitting there. Then the output of that resistor is now is sent through another jumper wire onto the negative terminal of the battery and back around again. So I have sort of a fairly straightforward circuit, but it has some extra wires in it, which I'll show you what they are for in a second. So. The battery's connected and everything's on and supposedly something's happening, although the resistors don't really give me any clue that anything's happening. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to measure the current flowing through this circuit in three different places. Right here, as it flows into the very first resistor. Right here, as it flows out of the first resistor and into the second resistor. And then here, as it flows out of this resistor and even out of the entire circuit and back around to the battery. So let's just get on and do that. So that's why I added all these extra wires in here, because what I can do is just sort of pull this wire off right here and force that current flow to go through the meter and then as it gets measured and comes out of the meter it'll come out on this green hook lead right here and I'll just send that into the circuit as usual. So what I'm getting at this first stage right here is about 3.8 milliamps because I have the meter here on the 20 milliamp setting so I'm getting about 3.8 milliamps flowing through there. So you can interpret that current in many different ways because it's the current that's coming out of the battery, that is, appears to be the current that the whole circuit's drawing, that would be a valid conclusion there, okay to do that and stuff, or it could just be the current that the first resistor is consuming, something like that. Let's continue then, so 3.8 milliamps, so let me just put this part back together here. Now I want to measure the current that's coming out of this first resistor and going into the second one, so once again I'll pull a jumper wire off there, send it, the current into the meter so it can get measured there, and then I'll clip on to the input to that second resistor and lo and behold, I'm getting about 3.8 milliamps. So this first one is through the first resistor. 3.8 milliamps coming out of the second resistor. And let me just continue now. Well, but before I do that, let me just see that we understand something about how current flows. So I measure the current over here, and that seemed to indicate that 3.8 milliamps was flowing into this first resistor. But we see also that entire 3.8 milliamps is actually coming out of the resistor as well. It's not getting used up or destroyed inside the resistor. Everything that flows in must flow out, but the resistor does slow the flow down, but all the current does eventually come out. No way charge is going to start collecting inside a resistor like that. So the last measurement to make then is to see how much current is coming out of the circuit or out of this last resistor. Maybe it'll be close to 8 milliamps? Who knows? Let's see. So I'll pull this jumper wire off here, connect that to the green lead and the output of that last resistor here, I'll send it in the meter here course, as you might have guessed right now, of course, even at this third point here, I'm also getting 3.8 milliamps at that third measuring point. So at all three of these points here in the circuit, I got the same current, 3.8 milliamps. So it appears as if 3.8 milliamps is flowing directly out of the battery, out of the first resistor, into the second resistor, and even out of the second resistor and back around to the battery. So 3.8 milliamps throughout. Now this particular configuration here it's called a series configuration. And we'll just jot that down right here. Series configuration, because if you look at the current flow, it doesn't have any options in terms of where it can flow. It flows into one resistor, must flow out of that resistor, into the other resistor, must flow out of that resistor, back around to the battery. So no options all. It's, it's, it's called a series configuration. And the definition of circuit elements in series is that they all carry the same current, which is exactly what I'm seeing here. 